well today's video is a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now it's actually more or less the look I was wearing in my skincare and hair care favorites of 2017 I had this like peachy bronzy um, halo eye and I got quite a few comments from you guys asking me to do a tutorial on it so that is what I'm doing and I really want to make it a point to do videos you want to see on my channel so when I saw so many comments asking for this tutorial I was like I'm gonna do that and I'm actually switching things up in this video. I wanted to do just a full face of affordable makeup because the only thing I have on my eyes is the Dream Street palette. So I thought it would be cool to use affordable makeup on the rest of my face as well. Plus, I'm taking it one step further and I'm only using affordable brushes in this video. I know the title says drugstore brushes, but there is one Morphe brush. It's an eye brush and you cannot get that at the drugstore, but it is still a very affordable brush. So lots of affordable goodies in this video. I freaking love all the products I used on my face today. I actually tried out this foundation for the very first time in this video. I mixed it with one of my all-time faves and I am obsessed with this combo. I'm not sure how this is on its own. This color is a little bit too light for me, but mixed with this, it's like a match made in heaven. But anyway, I tried to create a similar lip color to the one I was wearing in that video, but I was wearing Kylie Cosmetics Exposed liquid lipstick, and then I had a lighter liquid lipstick right in the center from Dose of Colors. But honestly, I looked through all of my liquid lipsticks. I don't have a dupe for Kylie Exposed, from the drugstore at least. So I did some sort of cocktail, and I came up with something kind of similar. I actually like the look I created today more than the look I was wearing in that video, even though it's similar. I just feel like it looks better today. But anywho, I am rambling a lot in this video, I'm sorry. But if you want to see how to get this really easy makeup tutorial, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start off the look by priming my eyelids. I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, but I'm using the shade, I'm using the shade Medium this time because it's just a little bit darker and that's what I was going for. And now I'm going to go into my Dream Street palette and I'm going to take the shade Magical and this is going to be my crease color. I'm pretty much putting this all over my crease. All up in here, all over the place. And I am taking my time with this shade because I am applying a lot of it. I go back and forth with this shade over and over and over again to really build up the color because I wanted it to be very, very peachy and like very pigmented. So I did build it up quite a bit. Now I'm going to start creating that halo eye. I don't want to put any eyeshadow in the center of my lid, so I'm just focusing this on the inner corners of my eyes, the crease, and the outer corners of my eyes. I mean, you see what I'm doing, but I'm taking that shooting star shade and I'm just focusing this right on the outer corners, dragging it into my crease, and popping that on on my inner corners as well. Just basically avoiding the middle like I've already said. But I'm not being as messy with this shade. I'm being a little bit more precise and keeping this directly in the crease. I'm gonna go back into Magical and I'm just gonna buff out the edges just so that everything is nice and blended. And I'm going back into Shooting Star and I'm just doing the exact same thing, just building up these shades. Now I'm going to take the NYX Pigment Primer. This is brand new. I just recently purchased this. And I'm popping this right in the center of the lid. This kind of takes off your eyeshadow underneath, but that's okay because you're going to apply a pigment or an eyeshadow right on top, so it's fine. And I took the shade Sweet Dreams, and I'm just popping that right in the center of the lid, creating that halo eye look. And I really like this pigment primer. It works very well. And now I'm going to take the shade Moony, and I'm using this to highlight my brow bone. What's new? Going back into Shooting Star, I am just blending out the edges of Sweet Dreams, making sure nothing looks too harsh, and I'm just, you know, retouching up. I feel like I am the worst at explaining my tutorials. I'm like really awful. Oh, I forgot to do this while I was highlighting my brow bone, but I took a little bit of Mooney and I'm just popping this on the center of my lid with a big fluffy brush. I don't want to use a more precise brush because then that's really going to pack on the shade and I only wanted just a light wash of this on top of Sweet Dreams. Then I took just a little bit of the Elfish shade and I'm popping this on my inner corners and on my outer corners as well, just to deepen up the look a little bit. Going back into Magical, and guess what I'm doing? I'm blending out some more. So then I just cleaned up any follow I had on my face, and I moved on to the face. I'm using the Rimmel Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Primer as my primer today. This is brand new as well, I just purchased this. And it did feel nice and moisturizing, but I still have to test it out a little bit more. I'm mixing two foundations today. The first one is the Revlon Colorstay. 
but it was just a little bit too deep for me so I mixed it in with the Ordinary Serum Foundation. I've tried out the Coverage Foundation but this is the first time I use the Serum Foundation and I mean I am mixing it with the Revlon one but this combo is amazing. It leaves a nice natural finish to the skin. For concealer I'm using my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. And for powder, I'm actually using a Catrice powder I haven't used before. This is the HD Multi Talent Powder and I actually really, really like it. I was using it to set my under eye concealer and it made my under eyes look really, really smooth and the pores around my nose looked almost invisible. I think I really, really, really like this powder. But yeah, I'm just using that to set down everywhere I put concealer. And then I am gonna finish up the eyes before, you know, well, do I have to explain? I mean, I do this all the time. To finish up the lower lash line, I'm taking the shade Magical on a big pencil brush, buffing that in, and then I went into Shooting Star on a more precise brush and applied that to my lower lash line as well. And then I went in with Elfish on an even more precise brush and I did the exact same thing. I also added a little bit of this Elfish color on the outer corners and extended it just a bit, just to add a little something. I took Mooney again and I used this to highlight my inner corners. And then for mascara, I didn't want to put on falsies because I wasn't wearing falsies in that video, but I went in with my Gigi Hadid and Maybelline Fiber Mascara, and I really like this mascara. First you do the mascara, then you add the fibers on top, and then you go in with the mascara again, and this gives you like insane lashes like super intense and I actually really really like this mascara believe it or not so I'm just popping that onto my lashes and then I also applied this to my lower lash line but obviously I didn't apply the fibers on my lower lash line just the mascara and then the eyes are completely done oh no no the eyes are not done I forgot this part but I applied Mr. Bing eyeliner to my waterline and my tight line this is my eyeliner from ColourPop and now we are done with the eyes so to finish up the face, I'm going in with two Physicians Formula Butter Bronzers. The first one is just the original bronzer, and I'm using this to contour the cheeks a bit, and my forehead, contour my forehead a bit as well. And then I went in with the one labeled Deep Bronzer, and I applied that to my entire face to just warm up my complexion a little bit, and to bronze up the skin a little more. Guess what blush I'm gonna use today? I swear it's really hard for me to use any other blush these days. This is the Burt's Bees Blush in Toasted Cinnamon. Pop that on the cheeks as usual. And then for highlight, I wanted to use my J-Cat Triple Crown Baked Shadow in the shade Dolce de Leche. And I'm popping that on my cheekbones. This stuff is intense, so intense, and so magical, and so beautiful, and it's so affordable as well. I know this is technically an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlight, and it's amazing and totally underrated. And if you wanna glow forever, this is the one you need. <laughs> it's really good. I'm popping that on my nose as well, you know, all the places I usually highlight. And then to melt all these products together, I am using my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, drenching my face. I lost my freaking little fan. I gotta get another one on Amazon, my little electric fan. So I went in with a lip liner. This is the Flower Beauty Petal Pout Lip Liner, and this is in the shade Nude. And I'm using this to line my lips, and I'm also filling in my lips with this, but just a little bit, not like too much. And then I'm going in with this Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in the shade Mocha. It's really, really pretty. These are a little bit drying, but I do like this color. And I'm popping this on my entire lip. And then I applied another lighter lipstick in the center. Just It's just a little bit lighter, but this is the Milani Matte Lipstick in Matte Innocence. Just popping that in the middle to create some dimension. But that completes this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Science. How long was he renting here? Uh, just a month. But uh, I only saw him a day or so. Some sort of clinical trial using 
student volunteers. He didn't mention...